Is there hope for Doctor Who? I guess we'll find out. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what, anything, and everything. So, for those of you who are sci-fi fans and Doctor Who fans, uh, it goes without saying that the popularity of the show has been dwindling ever since the 10th Doctor, who was played by David Tennant, uh, departed from the series. So it's been slowly going down in ratings, uh, even with Peter Capaldi, which I actually really enjoyed uh, his Doctor. Yeah, audience figures have just been going down and down and down. And then with the 13th Doctor, played by Jodie Whittaker, man, the numbers have just been going down the toilet. <laughs> And then with this last season that they just did, where they tried to rewrite all of Doctor Who history to kind of uh, fit whatever narrative he wants to put, yeah, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and a lot of people the wrong way. But hey, maybe there's hope because Russell T. Davies is gonna be coming back to be the new showrunner after Chris Chibnall. Who is he? Let's talk about it. So Russell T. Davies, he is the one that successfully was able to resurrect Doctor Who back in 2005 with Christopher Eccleston, who played the ninth Doctor. So according to Davies, he says that I'm beyond excited to be back on my favorite show. So him returning to the role is going to prepare to mark its 60th anniversary in 2023 and one of his first responsibilities will be to decide who is going to take over the TARDIS following Jodie Whittaker. Well, Russ, <laughs> please pick someone who is going to be good for the role. People want a good character. They want a good story. They don't want to be preached to they don't want political nonsense in their show. There's enough of that out there. What people want to do is they want to turn on the TV and get away from the real world and stuff. And there's a lot of uh, producers out there who seem to have forgotten the reason why uh, some people like uh, to watch TV because they want to get away from the real world. The last thing they want is to be preached to and told how to think or how to act or or whatnot. And I certainly hope that Russell T. Davies has made a stipulation saying that that he'll come back as long as he has full creative control. Because if he doesn't have creative control and has to do whatever the BBC tells him to do, then the next season of Doctor Who after Jodie Whittaker may be just as bad, but hopefully he'll retain some creative control. Control is good as long as it's coming from the showrunner and uh, not the overseers. But it's quite interesting that Russell T. Davies, who was able to bring Doctor Who back, is also going to be part of the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. So. I think that's kind of I think that's kind of fitting. I just I hope it works out well and I I hope he fixes the mess that was done in this last season. And as far as the third year of uh Jodie Whittaker's uh time in the TARDIS, I don't even know. Um after that last episode uh from the end of season or her second year I, I just don't even want to watch it anymore. But the only episode I would I would be willing to watch is the one where she regenerates. <laughs> and hopefully into something better. Nothing against the actress. Um, I did actually like the first year 
uh, of, of Jodie Whittaker's um, time as the doctor, but the second one, there was only one episode I liked. Uh, but other than that, they were just pure garbage as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, you know, that's my opinion. And, hey, you know what? You've got an opinion, too, and I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole thing. Are you excited that Russell T. Davies is coming back? Or have you given up on Doctor Who at this point? Be interesting to find out. Thanks so much for watching, and have a killer awesome day.